What's up everyone? This is Stacko Cakes. I'm back with another MLB The Show 18 video. This is a video on the different programs in this game. I'm going to show you the different programs, the different missions, the different rewards. I could break it down into different videos because if I had them all in one video, it would take way too long. So we're going to separate these into different videos. First one I'm going to do is the Immortals. So basically for the Immortals, what you have to do is you have to first you got to do these sets down here the players don't require all of them so some players like chase Utley, for example makes it so you have to do the holt and the espinosa sets so he has to do these two so we gotta get those sets done then we got to get the chase Utley set done and then what that chase Utley set does is it comes into this Jackie Robinson set right here. We're going to need that Chase Utley program souvenir. So let's start with the Babe Ruth. The Babe Ruth, here are all the different cards. You can get the first 68 overall card right off the bat. You can throw them into your lineup. As you unlock more percentages of the Babe Ruth, you unlock better Babe Ruth cards. So there's a 77, an 82, an 85, and then finally a 99. Here's the different missions. So the Billy Williams program souvenir, that is a career arc. So you, you got to get that career arc done and then put the program souvenir to here. And then you have to get the another program souvenir that's coming up. Then you got to put the Impact Veteran Legend Babe Ruth into your lineup, which is this one right here. That we get at the start. And then, so we have to get 90 total plate appearances, five runs, 15 hits, one home run, and 15 RBIs with him. With, and then, yep, with him. Okay, so then, then this thing unlocks the next Babe Ruth card. And there's gonna be more um, stats we have to get with that card. And there's gonna be another one. We have to get stats with that one. That's a picture one. So we have to get all these stats. Then besides all of this, we got to come here and we have to go to the exchange starting pitchers. So if you go into here, it says in the top right, we're going to need 65,000 exchange value for starting pitchers. You'll see that uh, these crappy ones I have, they only give exchange value of 100. So you need uh, 650 of those. Is that the right math? I think 650 of them to get this done. See, and uh, as, as it goes up in value, as it goes up in overall, the exchange value increases. Let's go check out page 10. So here's page 10, like the, the highest value you can do. You can put in a uh, Clayton Kershaw. That's going to give you 100,000. So I don't think anyone would put Clayton Kershaw in here, but that's just an example. Scherzer's, Scherzer, uh, 75,000. Sale, 57,000. So each of these cards has a value. You can decide if you want to put a whole bunch of cards in here, if you want to put a couple of the bigger ones in. It's up to you. But that's what you got to do for the for the babe, for the pitchers. You got to also do this for outfielders. He's he's going to need 85,000 points for the exchange outfielders. Left field, center field or right field. Let's go check to see the value of some of the higher like, let's see for example the uh, Mike Trout is 100,000. I don't think I don't think my chart's going to go in there, but see, here's the value. Bryce Harper, 44,000. Mookie Betts, 34,000. So you're going to need 85,000 for that. Also, the jersey exchange. You're going to need 15,000 uh, exchange value for this. These ones go for 775, 275, 100. So the crappy thing is people are going to be jacking up the prices of these jerseys. So if you really want to get this done, it's going to be really, really expensive to get this done. I'm just curious to see how much this is going for right now. But because uh, I actually have the Yankee jersey there. Hat exchange, same thing. 5,000 exchange value from the hats. Here's a different hats. Base best. This is the one you put it in to get his Immortal card, which is a 99. Let's go check to see the Jackie Robinson. <clears throat> same kind of thing. 83 card at the start, 88, then you get a 99. There's a different re rewards along the way. Here's the missions. We've got to do the Chase Utley 
um, career arc. So we've got to do one more career arc as well. Then we get the Hardware Legend Jackie Robinson, which is this one right here. The first one. We've got to get a bunch of stats with that. And get stats with his ne next card. Then also there's the Jackie Robinson Day. So you get a little bonus here on Jackie Robinson Day, which is April the 15th. You can get 10 hits with uh, Hardware or All-Star Legend Jackie Robinson in your lineup to celebrate Jackie Robinson Day. So you get some bonus XP, bonus stubs, bonus tickets. This is this option mission gives plus 5% bonus progress and is not required. So this is in 22 days from now. So you don't have to do that one, but it's a bonus. Next, we got to get... Uh, all these stats here with LA Dodger players in your lineup. Next, you got to exchange a bunch of second basemen. So we need 130,000 exchange value. Let's go check to see what some of the highest ones are. Joe Morgan has 100,000 exchange value. Pedroia, 7,655. It's just some different examples of some of the players' values. But we need 130,000 for Jackie Robinson. Jersey exchange, we're going to need 15,000 for them. Here's the different jerseys. I'll just go over these really fast here so you can pause them if you want to see. 5,000 exchange value for the hat. And you get the immortal Jackie Robinson card. Mike Piazza, you can get his 69 overall card right now and put him into your lineup. There's also an 88 you get. And the 99 card. Here's his missions. You need to do the Gary Carter career arc. You gotta do another career arc that they haven't brought out yet. Put uh, Mike Piazza in your lineup, and then you can get some some stats with him to get these tally doubles, home runs, and RBIs with catchers to match Mike Piazza's 1997 season totals. So you need 32 doubles, 40 home runs, 124 RBIs. Exchange catchers. So we're gonna need 130,000 exchange value for the catchers. Most expensive one, Buster Posey, gets you uh, 34,130. With different values for some of these. Jersey Exchange, we're going to need 15,000 for this. Jerseys go up to 775. So there's a whole, a whole bunch of different jerseys to choose from here to put into the set. Since he had so many teams, Hat Exchange, same thing, we need 5,000. Exchange value, you're not getting much for these hats, so you're going to need a bunch of them. So you're going to see that every card. For these immortals, you're going to need to do a lot of stuff to get this done. This pool holes doesn't give you a card to start out with. It gives you an 82 though, and an 87, and a 99. So it looks like the, yeah, these are not, not sellable. Not sellable, okay. So you have to do the Paul Molitor career, Molitor career arc, and one more career arc as well. Plus you got to put the flashback pool holes into this set to unlock some more to begin that mission. And first baseman hits, tally 212 hits with first baseman in Diamond Dynasty. Exchange first baseman, you're going to need 130,000 of value for this. Most expensive, Goldschmidt, 34,000. Jersey exchange, 15,000 of the jerseys. Hat exchange. Let's go through these faster so this video doesn't take too long. Got a bunch of these guys to do still. You can get a Ken Griffey Jr. right from the start. 72 overall. Goes all the way up to 79. 81. 88. So this is a bigger set than the others it seems because there's a whole bunch of different cards in here that we can get. We're going to need the Larry Doby career arc program done. We're going to need another career pro, uh, arc program done that's not out yet. You can put his cards into these sets. And to get to start the missions for these. So there's individual missions as well. So we probably need a bunch of hits here. Or something with the Ken Griffey Jr. card and stuff like that. So at, at each level. So exchange center fielders. We're going to need 130000 of value. Most expensive is Dustin Fowler. No, that can't be right. Dustin Fowler. <laughs> Most expensive is Mike Trout. 100000 Jersey exchange, we're going to need 15000 for the jerseys. Got a bunch of different jerseys to choose from here. Hat exchange, a bunch of different hats as well, but the highest value is 100 per hat exchange value, so you're going to need a bunch of hats as well. 
Bob Gibson, you can redeem a 73 overall card right now. You also get an 85 and a 99. Got to do the Don Sutton career arc to get this one done. And another career arc. And you're going to have to get uh, these done. You're going to have to get these done with the individual Gibson cards. Tally 314 innings pitched with legendary start, which le legend starting pitchers in Diamond Dynasty. Seven career saves with St. Louis Cardinal pitchers. Then we've got to do it in exchange for a bunch of pitchers, 130,000 value worth. Most expensive, most expensive is Kershaw at 100,000. Jersey exchange, just Cardinal jerseys. 15,000 value worth of the exchanges. Hat exchange, maybe 5,000 worth of the hat exchanges. Cal Ripken, kind of unlock the 78 at uh, 10%. Maybe another 83 right here. And a 99. After the Hadley Ramirez career arc, and another one coming soon. Gonna have to put him into, into your lineup for this, get a bunch of stats for these ones. Smashing shortstops, you need to tally, tally 47 doubles with shortstops. And you need exchange shortstops. So we're going to put in here 100, uh, 130,000 of exchange value. Manny, Manny Machado was the highest, 26,000. So we're going to need a bunch of them for this. Jersey exchange, just going to need oil jerseys. Range anywhere from 100 to 775 exchange value. You're going to need 15,000. Total for that. Hat exchange. 100 is the highest exchange value you can get. 5,000 is the exchange value you need for it. Jipper Jones. Unlock the 79 at 10%. 85. And also the 99 right here. And need the Joe Torrey career arc done. And one more career arc coming. You need to put the rookie chipper in here. Get a bunch of stats. You need to put a legend here. Get stats and so on. Legend hit stats. You get a matches MVP season, 700 total play plate appearances, a whole bunch of stuff here. You gotta get exchange third baseman. Let's see what the most valuable third baseman is. Nolan Arenado, 75,000, 26,000 for Donaldson. Jersey exchange. Just need the Braves. 775 is highest you can go. Hat exchange, 5,000. Exchange value of 30 is the highest. Seaver, unlock at 10%, you get a 75 silver, 84 gold, and 99. Jack Morris career arc, you got to do one more career arc coming soon. Got to put his veteran card in here and get these this uh, stuff done. Get this done. Flashback, complete games, tally 20 complete games, 168 innings pitched with flashback starting pitchers. Exchange starting pitchers. Highest one is Kershaw, 100K. You need 130K for this. Whoops. And uh, let's see what else you need. Hat exchange. This one goes to 100 is the highest value it goes to. You need 5,000 of them to get this done. And the jersey, I'm not really sure if I showed the jersey. Highest for the jersey is 70, 700, 775 is the highest exchange value. We need 15,000. Total value. That is Deceiver. Nolan Ryan, 83 overall, 89, 99. Brett Saberhagen, career arc, we need that done. And one more career arc coming soon. Need to put him in here and get uh, the stats you need for that. Get the stats you need for these. These are probably single game ones. 383 uh, starter strikeouts. You need uh, with any starting pitchers in Diamond Dynasty. Exchange starting pitchers, you're going to need to exchange 130k to get him. Jersey, you're going to need to exchange 15,000 to get him. Hat exchange, 5,000. And Billy Wagner, 78. Also 88. So it goes 78 to 99. There's no card in between. Oh, there's an 88 as well. Lee Smith, career arc we got to do. One more career arc coming. Seven Ks in relief we got to do. August 2015. Left handed saves, tally 75 saves with left handed pitchers in Diamond Dynasty. Tally 200 holds with left handed pitchers in Diamond Dynasty. Exchange relievers. 
We're gonna need 130,000 exchange value. Most expensive is 100,000, Kenley Jansen. Andrew Miller is also 100,000. Jersey exchange, we're gonna need 15,000 of jerseys. We got 775 is the highest value we can get. Hat exchange, highest value we can get is 100. We're gonna need 5,000 of that. That's Billy Wagner. Last but not least, Goose Gossage, 70 overall card. 80 and 99 card missions we need the trevor hoffman career arc we need another career arc coming soon four inning win we got to get that done goose saves long save tally 75 saves with right-handed pitcher tally 200 holds with right-handed pitchers exchange relievers same thing we just checked 130k we're gonna need for this the highest ones are 100k jersey exchange Go anywhere from 100 to 775 for value for this. Hat exchange, bunch of hats. We need 5,000 total value. They go anywhere from 30 to 100 for value. So those all are all the immortals. And like I said, to get these immortals done, what you basically have to do is you have to get these sets down here done of left fielders, right fielders, exam, etc. For the career arc that you need to do and for the career arc that you need to do that ties to the immortal that we're doing so jackie robinson for instance you need the chase utley so to do that chase utley you need a brock holt and danny espinoza so you need to do both as brock holt and danny espinoza then you do the career arc utley and then that goes into jackie so it goes into upwards fashion to get all this done I'll be back with a video shortly showing you the different career arcs and what the rewards are for that. But uh, if you guys have any questions about the Immortals, put them in the comments down below. I answer them ASAP. If this helped you guys out, hit that like button. I appreciate every single like. Thank you very much. Hit the sub button if you guys want to know when my next video is coming. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys soon.